This grandfather clock calls for a base or skirt right down here that's going to wrap around the bottom. It's something you can do as a shot made molding. There's a good detail of it here. Really what I want to talk about is how we can produce this through multiple cuts, multiple laminations of wood in order to build this up. So here on the detail, everything's called out for us. It's going to be an inch and an eighth thick. Looking up here at the details that are included in the profile, there are a lot of steps and a lot of curves. This is something where you look at this and say, oh my gosh, where am I going to get a router bit or a shaper cutter that looks like that? And the answer is, think about this in two passes or two layers instead of just in a single. So here, I've got a quarter inch beading bit. And when I hold that up against the profile, it looks suspiciously like what I'm trying to do here. So in fact, the way this is going to get generated is we're going to use two distinct layers, a 3 8 beading bit on one and a quarter inch beading bit on the other. And when we're done and we put those layers together, we're going to have exactly the profile that we're trying to produce here. This is the first of two profiles that we're going to cut. What I've done so far is put a 5 8 inch thick board through the router table. I've got a quarter inch beading bit in there right now. And that quarter inch beading bit is the beginning of the curved and stepped profile that we want to produce for this plant. Now, the grandfather clock requires various pieces of the skirt molding. The easiest way to make this happen is to work with long pieces. We're going to end up with a lamination here of two different thicknesses. After everything is done there, then you can cut those into the shorter lengths required for the project itself. Because we're working with long pieces, I've added feather boards to my router table. Those do a really good job of providing uniform down pressure. And it's really critical, especially with long stuff like this. Those feather boards are going to hold it down, making sure that the profile is uniformly cut. It's the right depth all the way down the length of this board. So next thing, I'm going to switch cutters, change my setup just a little bit, run another board, and we'll be able to see how these components are going to come together to complete the skirt molding for the clock. Well, that's the second profile. That's a 3 8 beading bit in half inch stock. Now, when these two boards get laminated together, the net result is that it's going to give us that complicated looking but easy to produce stepped and curved profile called for by the grandfather clock plan. Mm -hmm.